Good morning. I'm going to tell a story from the Jataka tales. These are very, 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 very old Indian stories. Today's story is called The King's Ring. One day, the king of Varanasi said to his minister, I wish to visit the park make preparations. The minister made grand preparations for the king's visit. The park was decorated. The king was charmed by its scenic beauty, the trees laden with delicious fruits and fragrant flowers. He decided to stay there for a few days. While he was walking in the woody parts of the park, he heard a sweet melody. He walked towards the corner from where the notes were coming. There he found a beautiful girl, chanting to herself as she collected firewood. The girl was scared by the approaching king. The king was enchanted by the sheer modesty of the girl. He said, don't be afraid of me. I am the king of Varanasi. You are as sweet as your voice. The girl bowed her head and said, Thank you, your majesty. The king was struck by her beauty. He came to see her in the woody corner every day. One day he said to her, Oh, beautiful maiden, I want to marry you. The girl did not respond, but she had no guts to reject the king's proposal. Therefore, the king married her secretly in the woods. The two lived there as a couple for quite some time. Then the king was reminded that he must return to his kingdom. He said to the beautiful girl, Dear, now I must return. Master, be here for a few days more. What is the matter? I am due to give birth to your child. Really? It is great news. The king convinced her that he must leave immediately. However, he gave her his ring and said, Dear, if it is a girl, sell this ring to bring her up. And if it is a boy, come to me with him. You will be able to enter my palace upon showing this ring. Thus the king returned to his kingdom, leaving her in a delicate state. The girl stayed back in the woods very sadly. At length she gave birth to a baby boy. She raised him very carefully. She taught him to speak the truth. Thus the boy was trained in the transcendental virtue of truth at an early age. One day, while he was playing with other boys, one of them pointed to him and said to his friend, Here comes the boy without father. He beat me yesterday. Why do you call me fatherless? He said. Then tell us, who is your father? The boy did not like it. He rushed back home and told his mother. Mother, who is my father? Son, the king of Aranasi is your father. Really? But how can we prove it? The mother understood the agony of her child. She consoled him. Son, I have the proof. She showed him the king's ring and said, This is the ring that your father gave me. The royal emblem is engraved on it. Mother, if it is so, why don't you take me to my father? I will surely take you there, my son. So the next day she arrived in Varanasi with her child. 
and told the guard at the palace gates, we would like to see the king. <clears throat> the king was presiding over his council. The girl entered the courts and saluted the king before she said, your majesty, this is your son. The king did recognize them, but he could not admit it out of shame before his courtiers. He said, this is not my child. Your majesty, don't you recognize me either? Who are you? I don't know you either. Your Majesty, you had come to the woody parts of your park some nine years ago. The king feigned innocence. He said, what do you say, nine years back? Yes, Your Majesty, have you really forgotten? You married a forest girl secretly there. The courtiers exchanged curious glances. There was an uneasy calm in the courts. But the king still refused to recognize her. He said, why, it is a lie. I never saw you before this. Your majesty, this is your ring. Do you recognize it or not? No, this is not my ring, said the king. How could he admit it in a courts? The minister sensed that something was wrong. And the forest girl thought, everything seems to be false here. The girl was in a fix. She felt dejected. She had never expected it. She gathered courage and addressed the ministers. Let me have justice. The king is refusing to recognize me and my son. I must now pass the test of truth and virtue. That is the only choice left to me. Therefore, she caught her son by his feet and tossed him up, she said. If this boy is the king's son, let him stay in space. Otherwise, he should fall down on the ground and die. The council was amazed. There was silence all over. The ministers exchanged surprised glances. The boy hung in space in a cross-legged posture. Everyone said, she has passed the test. Both the mother and the son are truthful. It is a great miracle. The boy spoke from the space. Your Majesty, I am your son, O King. Let me be raised by you. Your Royal Highness, you support others. Why not your own child? The King stretched his arms and said, Son, come down. I will support you. I am sorry. You are truly my son. The ministers also stretched out their arms. They said, son, come down, you are true. You are our king's son. The boy descended in the king's arm and sat in his lap. The king made him his deputy while his mother was made queen. All lived happily ever after. Thank you.